Let's the plan. We do not have time. Stand back. No, she would like to see. And what is that supposed to I left my husband and child at home for this. Remember to remain composed. Your Majesty does not take kindly to any hint of hysterics. You have natural gifts. Smile. Um. Eloise. Say I will long for any of this. Best of luck to you, brother. So pleased you were able to come. As if I would allow dear Augie to miss out on watching his mother win this little family tradition. The Duchess who is still a Bridgerton. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Anthony has invited a young lady to Aubrey Hall. Yes. Well, I cannot wait to meet the woman who has captured your heart. Tell. Unfortunately. Well, it is a joy to see you as well, Lady Dan. Oh, you're great. Must be Miss Edwina. Sister, Miss Kate Sharma. Ah, oh, forgive me. Miss Sharma, I am your grace. <laughs> Miss Edwina. The first player to send their ball through the last wicket wins. You can use your turn to knock an opponent's ball as far away from their next wicket as you want. I gather. Precisely. Player who plays the game and a wise one who plays the <laughs> Strike when he thinks you're least suspecting it, so always be suspecting it. So the hope is that she gets so absorbed by them that she forgets about it. I, of course, may complete enigma who will divulge none of my secrets Louise. and... The only fair thing to do is to let our invited guests choose their mallet. Well, would you look at that? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Are the demands of the day affecting your game, brother? Limbs. <laughs> Motherhood seems to suit the Duchess. Fast learner you are indeed, Miss Sharma. Still retrieve your ball if you wish to stay in the... So, it's all going well then. Who are you and what have you done with my brother? Young lady truly won your heart. You met her? Hmm. Kate always has had my best... Remarkably similar to you, Anthony. Merely your responsibility to bear indeed. Yes. Here, here. Yes. To add in lightly, make the bouquets even bigger. If there is truly to be a proposal before, Anthony will need all the help he can get. <laughs> right. I still hardly know the lady my brother is planning to marry, but perhaps I should get to know her for him. Hopefully, the festivities are living up to your expectations, Miss Edwina. Well, there is certainly pleasure to be had. Well, between you and I, and enjoying your home alone with your family. Exactly what to say at all times. I've always imagined Anthony to be with someone more like him. <laughs> but our plans do not require yours to be set. Never said I did not like her. I only wonder if you truly know each other well enough. It helps if you share similarities. Have you not? Oh! Why? Why? And you were alone, quite close to one another. It is clear that you have affection for Miss Sharma. The two of you must be honest with yourself. Well, in truth, I was delayed by doubts about whether the festivities of this day might or might not take place. <gasps> Do you ever wonder what father might say on a day such as this? I witnessed you change the day he died altogether, in fact. It was as though you had become an entirely different person. <laughs> So this man, and this woman... What? Daphne, you may be a duchess, but you are still my daughter. Away travelling for six months. Six is nothing when you're a newlywed. Ah, to pink, Anthony. I rather think that it will match the shade of your embarrassment. Please to begin. Suppose <laughs> he is. I suppose that means they are cutting out. No, no, no. no. We...